Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about the convergence indicator and the momentum indicator and the differences between two and how and when you should be using uh, both of these indicators and how well they work and uh, what are the pros and cons of these indicators. So I am in the options market summary dashboard and we are looking at the market net flow. If you don't know what market net flow is, I'll link uh, the video on market net flow below. Please go ahead and watch it. It's one of the most powerful tools based on options flow out there and it can help you predict intraday price movements of the entire market so we are on the market uh, net flow chart and what we're seeing here is are the puts and uh, the red line is the puts the cumulative premiums of puts the green line is premiums for calls and then the white line is s and p's or spi spies price and then we we have the convergence indicator uh, on the bottom by default this is what you're going to see you are not going to see the convergence indicator by default, you are going to see the momentum indicator. So let's first quickly talk about what momentum is and then we can uh, dive into convergence because convergence, I believe, is a much stronger indicator. So momentum is simply the strength in the flow right now compared to the strength in the flow uh, in some previous time period. And anytime uh, it's, a, it's an oscillator, so it will keep uh, going above and below zero. Anytime it's above zero, uh, you are supposed to buy calls or go long anytime it's below zero and uh, you're supposed to short or buy puts so for for instance for this day we can see that momentum at the start of the day and you'll see this way quite often where momentum will go up and down at the start of the day just because there is a lot of volatility and it's uh, hard for flow traders to find a clear direction so sometimes there is a uh, sometimes it, it keeps going above and below zero it keeps oscillating and then after about half an hour it finds uh, a good direction and then we can start making plays and so you can see about like a half an hour in or about an hour in uh, it did uh, find a direction and you can see that the, the reason it found this red dot which was a bearish indicator because we went below zero was because the puts started to go up which meant more put buying and the calls started to go down which meant more call selling so again, you can see there was not much difference at the, for the first about one hour of the day. But then as time passed, there was a huge difference between calls and puts. And that's what we want when we are uh, dealing with market net flow. We want these trendy days or days where there is a large difference between the puts line and the calls line because that tells us that flow has a strong direction. And so we got uh, a momentum entry for a bearish for a bearish position and that was our entry from 418 or 417 all the way to about 405 so even if you played some of the initial entries and let's say you lost a little bit of money you would have made everything and a lot more if you followed uh, the last uh, momentum based entry so that's it it's a pretty uh, simple indicator you might have heard about it when reading about technical indicators and other things but it's not really sophisticated it's just measuring the strength of the flow compared to the average flow that we have seen uh, up till now sometimes people do strength of the flow right now versus strength of the flow let's say an hour ago that's how we started but uh, right now we now do an average so strength of the flow right now versus strength of the flow up till now and anytime flow starts to let's say get more bearish you are going to see these uh, you are going to see momentum turn bearish or turn red so that is what's momentum if you want to get quick scalps or quick day trades then momentum can be a very powerful indicator but i'll highly suggest to wait before we see a clear direction in the market net flow before going with either momentum or convergence most people simply start looking at the convergence or the momentum indicator but they don't really see that whether there is a direction whether there is a clear difference between how calls and puts are behaving right now you don't want the first hour here where puts sometimes puts are going up sometimes calls are going up and everything is very close to each other that is not what you want because that will give you a lot of false plays and that will give you a lot of volatility and you just keep going in and out of place so you want to wait until let's say even if you did not enter here because still there wasn't much difference and you might say you're looking at historical data so it's much easier to analyze i agree with you so let's say you did not go in here even if you went in somewhere around here where now we had started to develop uh, a large gap which would mean very high strength in buying puts 
and then some strength in actually selling calls both are bearish indicators so now we want to start getting bearish so please keep keep that in mind that will help you save a lot of money wait for some strength in the market net flow in it itself before actually looking at the indicators but we do have another indicator called convergence that takes into account that strength in the market net flow within that indicator so let's now take a look at it if you want to enable it just go to this uh, symbol click on it and then what you'll see is the convergence indicator the default is the momentum indicator again all right so what is the convergence so with momentum we were just looking at the strength of the flow the strength of the flow had nothing to do with how the stock market or how the spy stock price was going it was just based on the flow but with convergence we are also taking into account the movement of the price of the underlying which share would be s and p or spy so let's say this the, the flow is going bearish and price is going up in that case we don't have a convergence what we have is a divergence because flow and price are not agreeing with each other and so that's the basic concept here anytime flow and the stock price of spy is actually agreeing with each other you will see these colored bars if flow is green or if flow, if flow is green or bullish then and if flow is green and bullish and price is going up then you'll see these bars as green if flow is bearish and price is going down then should then you'll see these bars as red so that's where you see colored bars but the power of the indicator comes from these gray bars and these gray bars are areas or are times of the day where you should either exit your trade or stay out of bad trades because these gray bars are times when we are having a divergence where price and flow are not coordinating with each other now there could be one million reasons for that and instead of trying to understand every one of those reasons it's much easier to just use a single indicator that's taking into account and the convergence and the movement of flow and price and just stay out obviously during this time if you go and look at the live options flow you'll see maybe there is some hedging going on that we are not able to catch maybe there was some big flow that was not very meaningful uh, things like that if you do that sure you can spend some time there but if you just use this indicator then for the most for, for most of the time it will tell you when to stay out but i would like to add again that you still want to be looking at this indicator when there is some kind of Uh, trend or there is some kind of strength in the actual market net flow that is very important because when that's happening and then you are using these indicators you will find a much higher success rate and so t- this day and uh, the, the, the last friday it was a fairly straightforward day because we went down almost all day so there wasn't much to look at the con- there wasn't much for the convergence indicator to give you as you can see like it was almost zero until we actually started to pick a direction and then any time we had some chop uh, it did turn gray and so you can see from here on from here to here we had like a lot of chop in the price for about 1 hour and it turned gray and it kept you out of your positions or you might be able uh, to exit here all the way from about here or even exit here as well uh, and then like get quicker profits instead of waiting till the end of the day and then you can actually enter again here this would be like very small play you might win you might lose but when you actually enter here then you'll find another very good from 409 to about 404 or 405 another very $5 play uh, which would be like massive profits for options so that was a very trendy day very clear day but this is not what you see every day with market net flow and i i want to be aware of the comments where people say that you're cherry picking so let's actually go back and look at some other day so let's actually look at thursday Now on Thursday you can see flow was still relatively there was still some strength so we had calls going up uh, puts going down uh, but then price was not really uh, following the flow that well and this is where uh, convergence indicator comes into play so let's say you skip the first 30 minutes again and then you can see this sort of uh, difference in the flow the distance between the green and red lines which would be the distance between calls and puts you you can st- see that starting to grow and as soon as that started to happen you also saw this convergence indicator give you a bullish signal 
So let's say your bot calls around here. Let's assume 415. Then price went up and flow kept going up. But at about 1057, you can see that as flow was still somewhat going up and uh, calls going up and puts going down, price started to decline. And at around uh, 417 or uh, maybe even 416.9, 416.8, the convergence indicator got you out so it still gave you a two dollar play but instead of losing all your money when we actually went back to about 415 or 414 you would have exited here and now during all this chop till here again a very small play here but then all this chop here it's it kept you out so sure there was a bad play here because this is an indicator and just like other indicators, it does not have a 100% success, success rate, but it is still a very, very useful indicator because apart from this, it kept you out from this bad move because this move, if you're just looking at market net flow and if you believe in market net flow, this move was not supposed to happen because flow is bullish and price is going down. So there is a divergence. So we stay out and that's what these gray lines are telling you. Then as soon as price started to follow the flow again, you see this play so again from about 415 all the way to about 416.4 so again 1.5 dollar move uh, before it again it got you out and then again towards the end of the day we got another move from about 416 all the way to 418 so there was a six dollar move let's say from 4 414 to 420 there was a there was a six dollar move and you got all of those six dollars but you got them in chunks instead of waiting around so let's say price never recovered price just chopped all day and it ended up at 415 you would have still made money on the first play you made uh, in the day so that's where i hope you can see like uh, very clearly and very sort of explicitly how well this works uh, so that's where it becomes really powerful and as long as you can find some trend in the flow then you just use the um, convergence indicator and it tells you when to go in and when to get out and the the times when it tells you to get out those are actually the most meaningful times because people can sometimes use the technical indicators use other things to find their entry points but it gets very hard to know when to get out like should you get out here or should you just wait because flow is bullish use the convergence indicator because it will let you know let us actually look at some other day because I'm not sure what happened on let's assume uh, Wednesday. So it looks good. Uh, so let's skip the first uh, 30 minutes again. And so we we started the move from 450 411.5. It did get us out uh, briefly at about 413. Remember we started at about 4 let's assume 411.5. So about a two dollar move, but then it it started going up again at about 413. And then as price was going out, flow was still going strong. It got us out at about 414 so again about one dollar move and then all of this bad period where flow was going up but price was not really following it it kept us out during all of this period and then we had a couple of very quick uh, things like 0 0.5 dollar scalps towards the end of the day so this was the worst period like if you had held calls all the way from here to here then this would have told you to get out book your profits and if you were not using this indicator you might still assume that since flow is going very strong this is very strong flow i should stay in my place there is no reason for you to stay in your place when there is a convergence indicator that's telling you when to get out i think i really want to emphasize on the when to get out part because most people including me that's the part that's very hard uh, this is very market net flow is very accurate in uh, letting you know the overall direction so you can see like flow was positive so we did uh, end up going from 412 ending to about 414 but there was a lot of chop and uh, there are many other factors flow is not the only factor that determines where price is going to go so but it is a very big factor and we can use that sort of big fact big factor part of it to to see where price might go but we still want to be able to go uh, with perfect or precise entries and exits and that's where convergence indicator helps us and so i hope uh, this was useful to you and i hope uh, it made sense to you i really like the the intuitive nature of this and, and i've been using this for quite a while now it works really well 
so i'd highly recommend spending some time with it uh, using it and uh, testing it out uh, again uh, please do your own tests please do your own back tests uh, we are just a tool you should have enough confidence before you actually start putting money into these tools uh, but i'd highly recommend spending some time with it market net flow again is a very strong tool for day traders and even for swing traders because now we have another thing called dex so just uh, spend some time with this indicator it will help you hopefully make a good amount of money and avoid uh, some big losses uh, thanks again for watching this video i'll see you guys around